What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Field from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sending positive energy, and today we're going to talk about organizing your beats. So let's get into it. If you like me, you might have beats everywhere. I'm talking like you just have names and you don't know what's what you need to organize this stuff man so I wanted to do this video to show you how you can get a little bit more organization in your life <laughs> hopefully use some of these tips to your advantage maybe you can benefit from it so first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some folders I'm gonna create some folders into my desktop and you might do instrumentals, right? So let's do, let's open up a, a new folder and let's call that folder instrumentals. Instrumentals. Okay, now you might also do sessions where you record an artist. So let's also do another folder and call that one I don't know let's call it um artists so those are that's gonna be your folder for if you are working with artists and those are gonna be like your sessions okay now I'm sure some of you guys may do more than one style so let's do some different let's do some different folders of different styles so let's say you do let's say you do um, boom bat and then let's say you might do I don't know uh, like like EDM even if you do EDM and let's say you do uh, I don't know like how about uh, R&B or neo soul we'll put those together let's just say like um neo soul r&b together some i don't know <laughs> maybe you do jazz or gospel you could do whatever you know so this gives you an idea okay so after that let's say you have a bunch of wave files just stuck everywhere because i'm like that i got stuff it's just just madness so we're going to organize this stuff waves and then you might also have some mp3s new folder and call this mp3s okay so now we got our folders here we're going to use these folders and let's drag them let's actually get a better view let's see let's, let's see if we can um okay yeah, this is the view i want let's toss all of these into this okay so look at this is just madness man <laughs> so we're going to arrange these folders man so they're a little bit more neat and so you can have easy access to them because i know a lot of times like myself someone comes over or if i'm if i need to send out a beat or whatever it is whatever the case is i can't find the beat because i don't know where it is i don't know you know it's just just madness so you can use this as like a way to organize let's see let's use this and i'm on a mac let's go to uh date created okay so i just created these top folders right here so I'll be able to just drag whatever into these folders, for example, okay? And before I continue on, you definitely need some type of external hard drive just for backup purposes and just a you know, matter of fact, like whenever I record, I goes I record straight to my hard drive. I got two of them. And uh I recommend if you on budget I'm a, what I personally use is the WD My Passport. It's under a hundred bucks. It's two terabytes. I'll leave the link below this video. 
it, you can go straight to Amazon and get it. It's, it's like one for Mac and one for PC, both under one hundred dollars. So that's just a little side note. OK, so let's start organizing. OK, right off the bat, I see what is this MP3? See, just lying around. I'm going to take you up here. MP3. You see what I'm saying? And let's say you have like, um, you kind of know what the the beats are by name. And that's another thing. Name your beats. Just don't put a number like I've done. <laughs> Sometimes I just put a number on it. But that doesn't tell you what it is. You need to name your stuff. That way, when you name it, that gives you an idea of what it is. You should remember just from the name of it. You know what I mean? So clean up your beats, guys. I hope this helps, you know, just give you an idea of what you can do. Artists, styles, you know, instrumentals, you know. And actually, you know what you want to do? You want to put your different styles inside the instrumental. So let's do that. Put boom bap in there. EDM and instrumentals. Boom. So that cleans that up even more. So now you're down to four categories. Artists, instrumentals, MP3s, and waves. And then you just start dragging all your stuff. Like, okay, I know all of these right here are instrumentals. So I'm just going to drag them in there. OK, so once again, one way to arrange or to be more organized is, is to go to your main folders or whatever. Go to your arrange and go to date added. That's one way to do it. You know. Or name, whatever date created. You can do it that way or what have you see it's cleaner. See that? And I'm just talking about beats. I still got way more stuff over here. <laughs> but as far as beats go, you know, and some of these things over here is beats as well. But I'm just giving a, you an example of how you can kind of get your stuff more organized if you have just beats galore just everywhere. And just break them down. Artists, instrumentals, mixtape beats is another category. MP3s, WAV files. Um, I go over to instrumentals. I got different categories: boom bap, EDM, electronic beats, R&B, neo soul, whatever. Add any category or genre, style. Do it however you want to. Just try to put them in categories. Come up with some categories and make those fit into those categories. And that's how you get more organized. So I hope this video helps. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get notified every time I upload new material. Come to the website, check me out. All my social media down below this. <laughs> check me out, follow me on all the social media if you want to. Follow your boy. All the links down below this description box. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.